Solo String Play Along. We've got lots in store for you today. Wasn't that amazing? That was Danushka playing his cello. Fantastic. We're going to hear a bit more of that a bit later on. So do stick with the film and you'll hear Danushka again at the end. The opening piece of music that you heard was called African Soul and that's what we're going to be playing today. So we're going to start with some rhythm. You need to have your music in front of you and if you could look just at the last two lines, uh, it says gently tap wood of instrument. So we've got some words and we've got some rhythms. We've got some syncopated rhythms. Have a listen. This is how it goes. Three, four, one. Hear the djembe playing softly. Hear the djembe in Africa. So let's try that together, those words and those rhythms. Get your instruments and get ready to tap gently. This is a djembe. It's an African drum. It's quite a small one. Uh, they come in all sorts of sizes and they're rather pretty. We've got some nice paintings on this one. Let's say those words together and tap those words on our instruments. Watch out for the rallentando. Here we go. Two, three, four, one. Here. song we have two main instrumental parts so whether you're a cellist or a violinist there's a part one and there's a part two if you're playing part one and you're playing along with our ensemble performance then follow Elsa if you're playing part two then follow Ross on the cello so here's part one listen to it first perhaps clap along follow your music Four bars introduction. Two, three, four. <laughs> carry on. Just a quick word about ledger lines. On the violin part we have quite a lot of g-string work. It's worth talking about what that looks like. So ledger lines are small lines that we need to use if our music goes too low or too high and we run out of our five lines. So we have two lines underneath the stave. If we're playing a G, the note head is underneath these two. It climbs up one to an A. It climbs up another to the B. Of course, that one disappears. C, D. We don't need the ledger line for the D. I'm going to play the second part now on the cello. It's good if you can all play both parts. Year threes, you might want to start with the second part and then when you're good at that, and it won't take long, you can go on to the, the higher part, the first part, which is a bit more difficult. Okay, so if you're playing the second part, you only need one finger, two strings. We need our G strings and our D strings and we need our first fingers, that's all. So here we go. Um, if you're playing the top part, why don't you play along to this bass part? Two, three, four.
listen to one of you playing. So Sabrina, thank you very much for sending in your cello fill. Really enjoyed listening to that. Who's going to be next week's film star? Please keep sending in your videos and your films to me, k.burns at lsf.org. I'd love to see some more. <laughs> Hi Year 3 to 5 string players, uh, my name's Danushka and I'm in Year 13 at Loughborough Grammar School. I play the cello and I've been playing for 11 years now and I'm actually looking to become a professional cellist in the future. So I'm really excited to be making music for the rest of my life, I can't wait to start that career. Um, uh, but in this lockdown I've actually been making a few videos and I, uh, here's one that I hope you enjoy. So that's the whole of the African song. If you find that quite straightforward, let's do some extension activities. How about doing no open strings, only four fingers? How about transposing any of those lines up an octave? So if you're grade three and you've been doing some third position, the harmony line of the violin part is an ideal place to practice your third position. just slid my first finger back there for an F sharp. Cellos, you can do some transposing up an octave as well. Look out for the details, look out for the dynamics. We start mezzo piano. The loudest that we get in this piece is mezzo forte, but I would just exaggerate it. So perhaps be even quieter, perhaps go from piano to forte. Articulation, we have a mixture of staccato and legato. Listen and notice how I lean on some of these notes. So try shaping your phrases. That was the first phrase. Look for places to breathe and think about how it might be punctuated if it was, if it was someone speaking or if it was someone singing, where would you breathe? These are all ideas to just add a bit more detail and a bit more interest and polish the whole thing off. Remember your rallentando at the end. Send me some films of the end results. Bye for now. Thank you.